Welcome back everyone, we are back on Aliens Fireteam Elite with another build guide for intense difficulty. This time we're going to look at the Recon class. These marines specialized in recon. They can deploy parameter uplink spectrographs to reveal enemy positions and call in support drones that replenish ammo and enhance weapon accuracy for their fire team. They carry a rifle for sniping and a CQW for close range work. The first ability we can look at is the Pups. This small drone reveals nearby enemies to your entire team and lowers their damage by 20% for a short duration. There is a standard version which I think is the best one to use but I'm also going to show you how the Bloodhound and Guard Dog work. Each one has a specific use. The standard one deploys a Pup that reveals enemies with a red outline. Enemies can be seen around corners and behind walls. It has a very far reach to it. This is the one I use the most. There are some mods that enhance the use of this version. This is something you can just deploy and forget about it because it's going to work on its own no matter what distance you're at. The Bloodhound mod sends your pups to track a specific target, revealing and marking the enemy and lowering its defense. This one requires constant use every single time you want to use it. You will not be able to use it just freely. You need to have your crosshair or the center of your screen on a target, then you can release it. It will fly towards that target and remain on them as it lowers their defense. A red beam of light can be seen as it's focused on one target at a time. Using this mod will lose the long range scanning that the standard version has, so this one is preferably good for single enemies like a boss. However, the cooldown on this one is really fast. The Guard Dog mod sets your pups to defend an area, revealing and slowing nearby enemies. The Guard Dog will also periodically zap a nearby enemy, dealing damage and stumbling them. This version does have the red scanning ability but with a much shorter range, so it's not something you want to use if you plan to find targets from long range, but it does serve its own purpose. It remains stationary from where you activate it. It will zap enemies but the damage seems to be very low and the stumbling effect does not seem to happen that often. This one is meant to be used as a way to help you defend a location. It helps a little bit but not as effective as I expected. On to the next ability, the support drone. You deploy a drone that lands at the targeted location. While active, the drone replenishes nearby allies, ammo and provides them with computer assisted combat metrics which increases their accuracy and stability by 20% and grants a small amount of hit points whenever they kill a target from within that radius. The radius is pretty large, however, you do not have to stand in it for the drone to drop ammo magazines for you. Your ammo count is refilled when you walk over them. Text will also appear on the right side that shows you picked it up. You have the option of placing the support drone on top of boxes or crates this will make the drone appear on a higher level, but it doesn't really affect its performance, so just place it on the ground. The radius is really big on this ability. Here is how the healing works. Since the support drone remains stationary, you have to stay within its radius and get kills. Upon each enemy you take down while you are within the drone's radius, you will replenish 10 hit points. You can increase this to 12 with a mod, but the bonus is so small that you could just use another mod to help you out even more. The healing ability of the drone does not last long, so you can either apply mods to increase its duration or lower its recharge speed. Focus Kit Perk is the last one. Getting two headshot kills within 10 seconds grants a stack of focus. Each stack increases accuracy and stability by 10%, stacks up to 3 times. The icon at the top left is focus being activated upon your two headshot kills within 10 seconds. It also shows the amount of stacks you have. The bar in the middle part of the screen is another design for the focus kit perk being active. It shows the same stats but in a way you can see during combat. You don't always have time to look at the top left part of the screen. This is how I have my grid set up for the pups. It has a total of plus 73% recharge speed and plus 31% duration. The mods I'm using are these ones, Quick Charge 4, Extended Duration 3, Rapid Deployment, Quick Charge 3, Extended Duration 2, Quick Charge 2, and Distracting Howl will slow the affected targets by 30%, so it's a pretty good one to have. 
I also applied Red is Dead, so you and your team deal 10% more damage to revealed targets. Got Your Back allows for you and your teammates to instantly reload their equipped gun when you kill an enemy that is attacking or focused on your teammates. This last perk is really handy when you have large groups of enemies. You can see my magazine is getting reloaded all the time. You can just about clear an entire room without ever having to reload, providing you are the one getting those kills. If you're going to use this mod, Got Your Back, be sure to stand behind your team so there's a better chance the enemies will focus on your team and then you get a kill to proc that mod's ability. The mods I have on my support drone give me a total of plus 42% ability duration so it lasts longer. I'm using these mods, Extended Duration 4 and The Long Haul. The weapons I used during my intense playthroughs were the M42A2 Scout Rifle and the M42A3 Sniper Rifle. But if you feel more comfortable using other weapons and they work for you, then just use those. You can use a downrange mod if you want 20% more damage from a further distance, but this one might apply to only you, so you could use this to boost your own damage. But I think Red is Dead is better. It boosts all players by 10% for a total of 30% extra damage as a team, so for myself, I would rather use Red is Dead if I can only pick one of them but use whichever you want or you can also combine both of them if you want. Here are the attachments I used on the scout rifle. Tanker muzzle brake, extended field mag, and green dot sight. And these are the mods I have on the sniper rifle. Tanker muzzle brake, armor piercing rounds, and digital scope. For the secondary weapons, I used a few of them. These are the attachments on the incinerator. Flywheel chamber, hollow sights, and polygonal rifling. The Type 76 Auto Shotgun has these attachments, Precision Brake, Alloyed Magazine, and Hybrid Sight. The M37A3 Pump Shotgun was also effective. You can try these attachments, Precision Brake, Overloaded Rounds, and Hybrid Sight. The Recon class is extremely good for intense difficulty. The scanning ability lets you find targets you need to focus on, especially in darker stages in the campaign. The supply drone provides you with ongoing ammo, along with a little bit of health regeneration. It's a great class and it's one I'm enjoying a lot. And that covers the Recon class. I hope this guide helps you prepare for intense difficulty, but remember, use this as a guide to help you. Perhaps over time, you will find other weapons, mods, or attachments that are better for your playstyle. So in the end, use what works best for you. To see more videos covering Aliens Fireteam Elite, subscribe to my channel. This is Carlos or Acid Glow. Thanks for watching.